Well, it's 10.30 at night, and um, I just got home. I don't know if you can see this. I don't know if it shows. I can see my breath. Um, it's 44 degrees inside. I had the heater off. Uh, the, the, the laptop's running on battery power right now, so... I uh, the batteries are the RV batteries are down to 12.3 volts, so I'm just using bare minimum uh, power right now. I've got one single light. It doesn't show it well. There's only one single um, point two amp. No, is it? What is it? No, it's one watt. It's one watt. I think it is, or something like that. A fraction of a watt LED. Whatever. It's a very low power light I got on right now, and uh, it's just enough so I can see and not trip over things. But uh, yeah, 44 degrees. I shut off the heater when I went to church because you can't have an open flame and a cat in an empty or in an empty camper alone in the middle of the forest. That's just asking for trouble. So anyway, I'm uploading the latest video right now, and. Um, wearing a sweatshirt inside well I got the propane fired back up and trying to warm it up baby cat's all right she's out here playing around she's happy to be home baby cat come say hi to the camera say hi yeah you know what you're doing don't you huh you're a show off aren't you <laughs> anyway she's happy to be home she's having a good time and spending a lot of time close to me now she's uh really a lovey cat now so anyway I'll see you guys in the morning it's gonna be a cold one tonight we have a mixture wish I had my camera with me um, it started out raining today all day and when I left church it was turning to freezing rain I had to be really careful coming down the steps and while I was driving it turned to slushy snow so and then the long walk through the meadow uh, it was a bit scary. I don't know if bears come out already. It's March. But there was a massive dog-like footprint in my footprints. Um, where I had gone out. Uh, I had to walk all the way through to my car to go to church. And when I came back, there are these massive paw prints where I walked. And that was unnerving. Uh, it was bigger than any dog I'm, f I'm familiar with. It could have been a wolf. Uh, it could have been the bear. I don't know if the bears come out this early or not. If not, he's going to be upset and hungry because um, it's not very pretty out there. But I have to admit, I was nervous walking back to the camper tonight. And I'm very thankful I had a flashlight and I had my mom on the phone while I was coming in just to have some comfort in case something happened. Anyway, I'll see you guys all in the morning. It's going to be 20 degrees tonight. And um, I think, a, no, it's going to be in the teens tonight. And then tomorrow is going to be a high of 20. Well, it's going to be fun. See you there. Well, I'm in bed, but I have to say I'm shivering. I got my little LED on. It's, uh, you can't see it from here, but it's 31 out. And, uh, in the 40s in um, I just put the thermometer down it was 48 up higher and I just put it down there to give me a more realistic temperature of where I'm uh, laying at bed level so um, yeah it's dropping as I look at it now so um, a lot of people are gonna call me weak but I just did come from a place where it was almost 100 degrees warmer uh, so well Right now, I'd say 70 degrees difference from what it is outside right now. But it's cold. It's really cold. And uh, struggling to get the warmth up. The um, propane heater just doesn't do it, but it does keep it from freezing. Well, back to New York. Back to the off grade camper. Good night. Well, I'm laying in bed, reaching over. To turn on the camera it's um after nine o'clock in the morning I usually get up at seven but I uh, had a shivering fit that's anytime I moved in my sleeping bag 
I'd have a shivering fit. If I laid still, I was fine. But it's 33 inside and 17 out. And um, the propane heater is on. So the it's cold. The um, what happened last night? It was really, really windy. Uh, I mean, terribly windy. I didn't sleep much at all. I've been awake most of the night because the wind was just shaking things, shaking the RV, and um, that's the reason it's freezing in here. The wind is so intense that I might as well not have any heat on. I mean, you can see 33 indoors. Doesn't uh, I mean it's it's cold, and that's with the propane, so. It's life in an RV on a cold windy winter night. Some people tend to believe that I exaggerate a little bit. That's my cat's water dish. Or should I say ice dish. This is what happens when it's windy and cold in the winter in a camper. Last night we had some more snow all that uh, you can see where the uh, the heavy old stuff was and the melt off line it was just some fluff though no accumulation but it's supposed to snow more today let me take you up and show you the uh, front door actually here's the bathroom window so I uh, didn't quite miss the winter not fully and the front door is just the same everything's iced up solid so uh, it was a cold night and it's gonna get colder tonight it's, as long as it's not windy I'll survive it but um that wind is just brutal it comes straight through the whole RV and there's nothing you can do it takes the heat right out it just uh, freezes everything and honestly I wasn't done renovating this thing so it's still got air flowing actually I can show you over here in the bathroom you can see daylight where the wind is still able to come through anywhere where you see daylight or brighter spots is air so yeah it was a cold night well it's after 12 it's still only 38 inside. Um, I think this temperature is wrong because it's more like in the teens. Oh, that's right on the porch. That's right up against the side of the RV. I forgot that one. That sensor is leaning up on the RV. So it's um, only 38 in here. Um, propane has been on high. I uh, am freezing like mad and can't feel my toes. So I'm going to um, stuff insulation in the back hatch. I've got... Um, uh, it's not much, it's not helping, but I, I uh, put a blanket over the door, which is moving in the breeze. It's terrible. Um, the wind is just blasting through this place. I mean, that's not really much because it doesn't go all the way down. But every little bit helps. It's terrible. And um, it's actually wind blowing through here right now. So I'm going to go and get the void stove fired up. It's not going to be effective because the way I designed it, the um, porch is supposed to be heated as well and help heat the side of the RV, but there's wind blowing through. So um, you can see condensation on the windows, which I've never had um, because it's so cold inside. And it's just condensation is dripping down the walls and everything. So i got to get this place heated up or I'll lose it all. So... I've got a little bit of wood on the uh, porch enough to start the wood stove and I'm going to dig out some of the chopped firewood I had had. Yes, it was tarped, but the tarps are gone. Um, you know, it was, a, it was a harsh winter and the winds are terrible. But um, I'm going to go dig out some wood and get it inside the uh, wood stove shed and um, try to maybe get some of that wood in the uh, storage tent out there as well start to get some of the stuff drying out so I can get this place warmed up oh, I can't feel my fingers oh, my porch looks like a dump I'm pulling everything in here I've got my garbage here I'm gonna burn I've got some wood 
I've got some sticks that I've gathered up, but uh, oh, it's cold. Um, you don't know cold until you've been in the cold 24/7 like this for three days. Um, I can't feel my hands or my toes because inside the camper is frozen. My cat's water was frozen. Uh, the wind is blowing right through everything. I can't. Uh, I can't get it warm. So I got to get that wood stove going. And this is not Troy complaining, this is just, I'm stating facts. If you're going to live like this, you got to be ready. There's going to be hard times. Look at everything's frozen solid. My boots are stiff. I uh, went to Tractor Supply yesterday and got rubber boots. Because uh, I was walking through a little slop and my feet were soaping wet for two days. And I got tired of that. So I'm, uh, I'm gathering up dead twigs and sticks. I've got a little pile of kindling. That I had collected. But anyway, let me get this fire going. I can't get my fingers to. I can't get my fingers to work the lighter. Come on. Oh, come on. This wood stove going. I'm going to sit here in front of it and thaw out my hands and feet, and uh, hopefully, hopefully I can get the chill off inside the camper, and get the condensation out of there. Oh, hope this works. I hope this burns well. Everything's wet and everything's cold. Yeah, I can see water coming out of the wood. It's all everything's wet. If it takes, I'm lucky. I'll be good if it catches. No, I hope it burns. I put a lot of paper in there from inside the RV. Ah, a whole bunch of sticks and twigs. Hopefully I'll get enough in there to burn. The uh, damper was frozen. Water somehow got inside the chimney pipe during the winter. I had to get the damper going. Uh, but I broke it loose. I had to figure out how water got inside the wood stove in the winter. That's not good. I don't understand how it could have got in there. That's weird. With a cap on top. Maybe that cap is no good. Well, the paper's burning, but the twigs aren't yet. Oh, what? Oh, I hope this works out. This would be nice. Yeah, well, just the paper's burning so far. It's so wet. The wood is so wet. Well, hope for the best. Get this fire going. Second attempt at getting the fire going, I grabbed some uh, evergreen twigs off the tree and uh, they're burning. So um, I think I'll get the fire going now. I can feel the warmth already. Yeah, I'm going to get it going this time. Oh, it feels better already. Just that little bit. It's so cold today. Oh, that's a pretty sight. Uh, I still can't feel my feet. Uh, the stuff has turned rock solid now. So, my wood pile is uncovered. I'm going to have to chip it away because that's obviously... It's frozen now. So... I gotta get something to chisel it out with and uh, get some wood drying up by the fireplace or the wood stove. Well, I've got some wood in. Uh, it's not looking good. 
I got some right up next to the wood stove drying out. I've got a nice fire going. So I'm going to close up this hole and uh, get the fire going or the heat going on inside the RV. Is it open a little bit? Get some warmth inside, hopefully. See if this still works. I open the window by the bedroom and uh, I feel heat coming in. It's just radiating in, all in its own. That's such a nice relief. I have to thumb up my feet. And I'm gonna start uh, doing some more work insulating outside. Try to keep this uh, wind from blasting through here so bad. But there's heat. I feel heat. That's good. All right, I got my fan on. It's uh, 40 in the bedroom, 24 outside on the side of the RV. Um, let me go see what it is. It is, ah, 22 outside, so that's about right. Um, yeah, so it's 40 in here. I um, had my feet, I was laying on my bed with my feet right there and uh, warming them up, so they're feeling better. Actually, my hands feel better, everything's feeling better. I got my old wood stove going, but um, I have a serious problem with wood because it's all under the snow, so I just am going to have to keep the wood. Uh, I, I don't know if you can see, there's so much condensation in here. The uh, wood is sitting out here, hopefully going to thaw off a bit. And um, I got the wood, some wood up inside the wood stove, but I can't put much because for safety reasons, obviously. I don't want to... Um, cause a fire so anyway it's getting better in here when I have lunch now well I want to cook some uh, lunch I want to need a hot meal but I've got a bit of a problem that's my oil so <laughs> I gotta um, thaw my oil before I can use it figure out how to do that I guess. I'll hold that in front of the heater for a while. Now here's a nice meal, especially on a freezing cold day like today. Got uh, two eggs. Oh good, they're not frozen. I always pop the yolk with the uh, shell itself. Pop in two eggs in there. Um, put your flame on low, really really low. A lot of people always want to see me cooking. Well, this is what I have for a nice hot meal on a cold day. It was really simple. For a single person like me, it's no work involved. That's all. There's some frozen part in there. Eggs were outside in the truck. Figured the best place to store them would be in the truck. They semi froze. Now you take yourself. I go to the deli. I get meat ends from the deli, $1.99 a pound. Take a big chunk of meat, pop that in the frying pan. That's a deli meat end. I'll show you that up close there. $1.99 a pound. Not bad at all. Forgive my kitchen, I'm still setting up home and still digging stuff out, trying to find everything and find where everything goes. Now we get a cheese in. Same thing, $1.99 a pound from the deli. Big chunks of cheese ends. Nice, thick. Pop that in there. Right on top. Put a tin pan over the top as a lid. And that sits there for 10 minutes. Really slow cooking. Really low flame. Can even go a bit lower than that just really low flame and that just heats everything through nicely slow cooks now when the pan gets real hot and I start to see the cheese melt I shut it right off and let it sit for another couple minutes and it's a low energy um, easy well low, low fuel I should say um, easy meal 
for a cold day. My drinking water is half ice. You can see the ice in there. Uh, everything's freezing up salad on me. So, I finally got the, uh, what I got, it's um, 63 on the ceiling. Napkin. It's uh, 44 in the bedroom. Oops, kicked my cord. I got uh, lukewarm air coming through there. The flame is on low, so I don't have a lot. But I'm using the fan to circulate air in here. Baby cat's doing all right. Don't go in there. Say hi to the camera, baby cat. Hey, say hi to people. There you go. You're smart, aren't you? Looking good. Turn off the heat. Let that sit for a few more minutes. Melt that cheese through. It's a great thing about cast iron. It holds the heat in. And that will just circle through the heat. We'll go through and finish melting that cheese in nicely. And then it's feast time. And there's lunch. Simple. Filling. And good. Cheap too. I just stuffed a double layer of pink <coughs> fiberglass insulation in here. I had a partial roll left over and uh, it's enough to fit from here all the way over up into here. Double uh, strength. So it's uh, three and a half, seven inches of insulation in there now. And then I'm going to close the back hatch up. And that should help stop some of the drafting from the back around this hatch. Should help a lot. And then this plastic I'll put back up here. And uh, that's one job done. Just got to keep insulating and trying to seal the drafts off this thing because it's so cold. The wind is blasting through this RV. You still only have it up to 47. But believe it or not, that uh, helps a lot. My feet are not freezing. My fingers are not numb. I'm doing a lot better now. It was a quarter to three in the afternoon. The sun is out a bit, so that helps some. But uh, the wind blowing and whipping through this place, it's not nice. Now what I've got here, see? That's insulated and stuffed tightly with the uh, pink foam. And I don't see any more daylight through, so that should help a lot. And uh, keep my baby's food from freezing in water. I don't know if you can see things moving. The plastic's blowing. The lantern is shaking. It's a steady 30 mile an hour wind today. I don't know, actually, you might be able to see the trees moving up there. Um, can you see the trees moving through there? Well, I can't tell in the camera. It's a few. But it's cold. I cannot keep the heat in here for anything. The uh, wind is blasting through this RV. I've spent the whole day just trying to maintain heat in here. And it's terrible. It is so windy out here. It's just horrible. Um, the wind turbines would be great right now. But especially today with everything frozen solid, I won't be doing that. Uh, it's supposed to be warmer again tomorrow, so that's nice. That'll be a relief. Tonight is going to be really cold, but the wind is supposed to die down around 1 a.m., so that'll help a lot. So, uh, if I can just get through this night, I'll be all right. And I think the worst will be over. And then, um, start chopping some more firewood and trying to dry it out as I go. The, um, I... My firewood burnt faster than I could dry it today, so it was all covered in ice, and um, the fire went out. I was basically extinguishing the fire um, with so much wet wood, so that didn't work out, but I got the propane heater on high. Uh, I've got jacket and sweatshirt, hot coffee, and I'll get through this night, and this will be the worst of it. I've taken my meats and cheeses, <laughs> would you believe my Mr. Beam's stairway light still works happily, 
same batteries. I put all my meats and cheeses under the stairwell. There was an air gap in here, down underneath, and wind was blowing. I feel it. This is a fridge here. This is freezing cold. And I've stuffed my meats and cheeses into here, and then I've stuffed bags around that to stop the air, well, to stop the wind from blowing, and keeps my most um, sensitive foods cold. I don't mind if the meat gets halfway frozen. And I had this really nice um, cooler box that it's one of those uh, soft-sided coolers that uh, I put all my vegetables and um, my half and half in. I like half and half of my coffee and that was slush today. Just sitting here in the stairwell it turned to slush today. And uh, my cabbage froze so I um, put everything in here. The eggs were partly solidified so that's all in here. Hopefully that'll help them from uh, freezing salad. And I got my alcohol free beer. I go over here to the side. That was frozen salad. And um, there's my fridge right now. Now, because my porch is shot, there's no buffer like I had. And um, now I have wind blowing in through the doorway. So I put some screws up where the original um, curtain rod for the door used to be. And I'm close pinning on a blanket, which I think I showed earlier. I just had it off because I was running in and out all day. And that'll help a little. So everything I can do to prevent heat loss. Um, I stopped shivering, and uh, my feet, fingers and toes are good now. Um, baby cat is over here. Um, she was just washing herself happily a little bit ago. So she's all right. How you doing, baby cat? You all right? She's a little bit cold. You can tell because she's puffy on the sides here. She's otherwise all right. But anyway, she spends her time in my lap when uh, every time I'm sitting down. Having the wood stove going, I got rid of most of the moisture and ice. So that's good. Uh, you can probably tell by my voice I'm doing better. Uh, it was a brutal day. It was harsh. But uh, tomorrow's going to be better. So that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow.